Hello everyone, I'm Neringa, also known as Neri Pongo, and usually in this channel I wasn't too active. Um, from time to time I uploaded uh, crochet patterns, uh, which I also sell on Etsy, uh, but today I'm here with a different video for you. And uh, here I'm in my studio, in my colorful, colorful studio of yarns. I also make hymns. Um, normally my main product is, I'll show you, is um, these small mini yarn balls. Uh, here are just a couple of colors, but uh, when customers order, I make uh, very bright ones, uh, basically from the whole selection here. Um, and I also crochet, and crochet is my probably uh, biggest uh, hobby ever. And why I'm here for this video today for you, I'm starting a new project, project which I'm really, really excited about and uh, also very proud for this project. I'm going to make a blanket, which is just usual thing, right? To make a blanket, <laughs> a crochet blanket, but I was sponsored by Podia. Uh, Podia is uh, an online platform for courses, digital products, where you can uh, have your website, uh, do email marketing for your audiences, as well as upload your uh, workshops, um, courses, online courses, and sell uh, digital uh, files. Uh, so I use that platform for a while for my um, Lithuanian community, Lithuanian audience, because I'm Lithuanian, and I do uh, Etsy uh, trainings, Etsy courses here in Lithuania, uh, not in English yet, yet but very soon. Uh, so basically, I've been doing that for quite a while, and Podia is the platform I chose to be my courses in. And uh, they announced the sponsorship program uh, for marketing, for Podia marketing, to uh, make Podia more global, to make Podia more visible. And I participated. So I offered my idea to make a crochet blanket, blanket flag for Podia uh, in its colors. And Podia color is purple. So, um, and to make a couple of videos. So this YouTube video is not uh, part of sponsorship, but I just want to show whole process, um, whole journey of this excited, uh, exciting project. So here I am because it's crochet, it's yarn. So I want to also show my studio, which was kind of the in behind scenes uh, um, up until now. So now I will show more. So basically here's my main uh, stock uh, corner, but my studio is a bit bigger. I'll show you around. So uh, here I stock my yarns, as you see here as well, a little coffee station there, as well as uh, uh, seating uh, side, right? You can see photo shoot set and also packaging corner with lots of boxes and doors. So it's not too big, but it's quite enough for me. And it's very close to my home. So it's just like two minutes walk. Um, and it fits uh, everything in here, what I need. To, and I have my own space. So I don't need to have all this stuff at home. So what I'll do now. In this video, I'll start uh, showing and doing, um, picking up the colors and choosing uh, yarn uh, options. Uh, next video will be uh, making yarn with me. Together, I'll show you how I make yarn. I'll show a bit today as well, but in that video, I'll basically sh make uh, and decide and make all the variations of colors. And then uh, I will show the uh, crocheting process. So I was thinking initially to make a blanket, which is this blanket is a huge blanket, look. And it's basically made from very, very small pieces, as you see, right? With lots of knots poking out. And those small pieces are, I have a couple of boxes here, um, small, little small skeins of yarn, right? And they are all very col colorful, right? So I, how I make them, I have a winder, a yarn winder, and I just pick five, six, maybe seven cones. 
it depends on the weight because some of them are very, very thin. So uh, I take more then and I usually make like sport or decay weights. So it's uh, comfortable to crochet with. And uh, if I need thicker, so I take two strands, like I mean, two these strands, right? So this is this made this is made from uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven strands, and it's decay weight, like sport decay. I to be honest, I don't know really the difference, but uh, decay sport, right? Uh, so if I need thicker ones, so I take two of these, right? And I have like. Um, worsted right uh, and for this I use three three and a half millimeters crochet hook and for double of this I use like four and a half or five millimeters crochet hook uh, depending on the project I want to do because if I make bags I need I use smaller hook for crochet piece to be tighter uh, more like uh, stiff and if I use blankets or clothing I use a bigger size hook so it's more you know uh, fluffy more flexible so today um, I think we'll do some work together I uh, just make some more space here and we will select all purples uh, I, I will not make this blanket just purple it's like this you know like purple uh, but I will not make it just solid purple it will be it will still be my style because they sponsored me to make it in my style, in my way. So it will have probably knots as well in it because I, I love them, uh, but not so, so sure yet. I haven't decided on the uh, exact design yet. So, but it will, be, it will be purple with a twist of some other colors. But if you look at it, at the blanket as a flag, you will see it purple. So I'll just pick all purples first on the, carpet and here is the corner of all purples and here I will have more than you see it's not six down there are many many more so okay so you see all of them okay uh, even more. That's it. No, uh, there are more here. And I don't think I'll take very light ones. Or maybe, I don't know. And here are the pink ones. I will not use a pink one, but I'll use maybe some like you see, like uh, these deep, uh, deep, deep purple. So let's see what we have here. Okay. I think that's it and I'll show you around. So here is the selection of all purples I'm going to use and I'll show more of them maybe more close up. So I have a lot of this uh, purple cotton and it's be, it's going to be cotton mainly because all of those are, I think some of them are wool, but very little. Most of them are either 100% cotton or 50-50 with acrylic. So this will be maybe the main color because I have most of it. I also have a little bit darker, but when I mix colors, I can mix five, you know, five different, let's say five different cones or six. Uh, this is very thin, so I can take one more or, okay. Let's say I'll mix these into one cake and they will make a purple then i will not use all uh, the same color for the whole blanket i'll make like one cake in this color another cake i'll mix up different colors and then i'll make lots of different yarn cakes in 
different combinations of all these purples and then uh, we'll crochet maybe um, in lines in rows uh, changing each uh, for every row so it will be still colorful but it will look purple at the same time so I'll show you how I make my goals cakes so I mean I have a microphone here so you may have weird noises so I'll put it a little bit aside and I'll show you a little bit of the process so I also will move you down here Don't get scared if you hear weird voices. I'll move microphone a little bit back. So uh, basically all of my creative process, all of my yarn making process is done here <laughs> with these two little things. So yarn wider, just simple, basic yarn wider. You can buy anywhere online. But you can see this stuff. Uh, I, I'm not sure if you can see it clearly. This is like a extension tension mast here, right? To make your cakes look uh, all the same and to keep the tension. So this is custom made and you can't buy it anywhere. Sorry about that. So I get asked very often when I show my poses on Instagram or here and then uh, because a lot of people have just a winder, but nobody has this, almost nobody. So, but I have good news for you. My husband is really, um, how to say, is genius in this stuff. And he just had a look and said, uh, it's, I will make it easy for easy for him so i'm patient i'm very patient and i'm waiting waiting for that moment to happen uh, and i hope that uh, next year in january or february we'll have some of them um, maybe for you so what i'll do here i'll just first put my arms uh, down on the floor Maybe I'll choose one more color. Let's see, you need it? Yes. Okay. Uh, it's not, not super comfy, so maybe I'll just move you also here on the floor. You're just moving with me, right? So I put here all my yarns, and then I select, uh, I pick all the strands. Okay, sorry about the quality of the video. I hope you don't mind. So I have no one here in the studio to help me today. So I'm just filming it on the computer on my own and just really want to start this project and share it with you. Uh, okay. So all all picked up. Oh, that was one. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, now you you're going back on my table, on my desk. Here's also the process, but when I have some available, I'll show you how uh, to move the yarn in the in the this extension. And okay, and I just start making yarn cakes. And I'm not necessarily going to make full yarn cakes because I may not need uh, that full amount of it because I want to make more. I can see the screen moving. <laughs> I hope you don't mind. So next time, I think I, I will um, 
when I make more videos like this, I will find a way to do it more professionally. So you can make suggestions for me um, as well. So, um, because I will make more videos like this uh, to show the whole process, the whole journey of this blanket. So, uh, okay, so here is going to be the first color option. I think it's enough for you just to show it for you. I'll just sit down for a minute. So this is the first sample of this yarn I'm going to make uh, for this project. And as you see, all the strands are separate. It's not like twisted, twisted, right? Uh, there is one thing about twisting. I have actually, I have one um, automated machine device to twist the yarn um, in this process, but I actually don't like it. Why I don't like it? First, it's very slow. <laughs> it's automatic electric, but it's very slow. I still have to stand by it and uh, make sure nothing goes away. Um, and it's slower than just doing it by hand. And when you knit it or when you crochet it, it looks differently when it's twisted or when it's not twisted like this. Uh, and I like it more when it's not twisted, to be honest. Like when it's crocheted, it, it's, it looks more beautiful to me. And uh, I sometimes I get asked if it's difficult to crochet with because it's seven different strands coming together, right? Not twisted. So it depends. If you're just beginner, like complete beginner, it may be it may be a little bit difficult for you. But in general, it's the same like with any other yarn because uh, like other yarns are also ply. So you just you, it can look like one ply, but they have low strands, and sometimes it's also difficult and it separates. And for example, like um. I don't know how it's pronounced, mohair, mohair, we say mohair, <laughs> mohair, like um, uh, with little, you know, um, uh, like that, not itchy, but uh, very soft wool, right? Um, for me, personally, it's very, really dif really difficult to knit or to crochet with that yarn. It's just a nightmare for me. Uh, or if you have to frog it, it's a complete disaster. So, and... Uh, I got sometimes I get challenged that it's uh, like I'm not making yarn, you know. But okay, if I'm not making yarn, um, is it the same? This and this? No, nope, this is not the same. This is one cone, very thin, right? And this is yarn ready to crochet in it. And what's the process in between? It's making. It doesn't mean doesn't uh, matter what it includes. It includes picking up the colors. It includes winding, right? It includes uh, making uh, um, like different shapes. So, but in general, it's still making making things, and it's uh, also is for making, right? So, but it's not about that today. Uh, so. It's not difficult to crochet when you get ready and if when you get used to it and it doesn't need that many time to get used to it. And if it was really, really, really difficult to crochet with it, I wouldn't have done this for more than 10 years now because I created these yarns and the, at first I had like 10 different cones. Now I have maybe don't know how many cones are here, like four or 500 in total. You don't see all of them, there are boxes around. Uh, so I wouldn't do that if it was that difficult. And everything I create now, crochet, knit, uh, I do it with this yarn. And uh, now my newest project is uh, this knit piece. I actually 
picked up needles uh, after five or seven years uh, because I like crochet more, but I just felt I want to try to knit it. And it's really colorful. Um, I use these small uh, skeins. I also made them in the same way. And uh, I just pick them, uh, knit one or two or three uh, rows, then change color. And I use two at the same time. So I, for example, change one, but continue with the other one, adding another color and just changing randomly. It's going to be like a tote bag. It's quite, it's uh, just a simple knit stitch. The main one, I don't know how it's called, rip, rip, right? Um, and I'm going just to knit the longer piece, then fold it, uh, sew sides together and make a handle. So yeah, I'm, I wouldn't use this yarn if it was difficult to knit with, right? But it's also not about that today. It's about uh, Podia blanket flag. So this is the first color and I will just compare it with a, their logo color. I will make more different ones using the same lot here, right? Using all the colors from there. And I think I'm going to need around um, um, two kilograms, one and a half, two kilograms of yarn. I'm not sure about the measurements in LBS, sorry. Uh, but it's going to be big, like a, uh, like a queen size or king size bed color. So it's going to be big, like this big and this big. So it's like a when you take the flag and uh, you know those moments when uh, sports people, they put the flag on when they win uh, like first or second or third place in the Olympics, they put their flag on their shoulders and run around. So I'm going to do this. So I'm going to make Podia flag blanket and put it on me on the shoulders and go around the town and I'll make the video, of course. But the whole journey is uh, waiting to make this. I think I will take, um, it will take more than, than a month for me to do this. And um, that's the beginning. So I will continue making yarns. I will make another video of all yarn options I make. I will show you the whole lot of yarn I make. And then, of course, I will show you the whole decision on the pattern, on the design, and the process of that. So if you want to see more, if you want to see this to be continued, subscribe to my channel. There are more uh, videos on here, uh, crochet patterns as well. And if you want to check out my yarns as well, uh, you will see the link in the description. And there are two Etsy shops where you can buy these yarns for me. And I can't wait to see you again here for the next video. See you. Bye.